Okay, so you're not done with tits. Because the only other character, well, no, there's more, but some of the characters in the play that are the same <coughs> size as Milk Toast are these two tits you're about to meet. <laughs> who, in a previous poem, the actor removed on stage. So the only thing you know is that the nipples were separated from the breasts, and then the breasts were removed, and then they became alive. Interlude. The tits dance their mournful dance. The tits are alone on the stage. The spotlight, dressed in red gel, comes on and then refocuses down to their scale. The audience wishes for opera glasses and is also glad to not have them. The tits wear ruffled sleeves like dresses. The tits have perched the nipples on their heads like tasseled hats. The nipples are afraid of heights and are prone to motion sickness, but they say nothing. Everything is red. The music would be good for bluesing, but the tits are dressed for a tango, and they have little patience for the sink, sink, step, step of performed intimacy. The tits prefer the power of long strides. The tits move next to each other in lines, boring, really, like a too prolonged Charleston. Their feet would move mirrored and together if they had feet. As is, they scoot along the floor of the stage, the motion choppy and startling. The tits circle each other widely, then bump into one another when they come back together. They repeat this. They slowly take their distance, spin in their slow circles, then collide, their ruffled nonsense concealing the shock of each impact. The audience murmurs that the tits are well suited for partner dancing. They complement each other in size. <laughs>